Hi guys, and welcome to another one of our video series. Today we have Nick here. Hi guys, how are you? He's an optometrist and he helps people who are looking for laser vision correction to figure out if they're a suitable candidate. So when a patient comes in, they might get a report. Nick, can you tell us what is in that report? Cool. So we like to provide a report which goes over what you're suitable for and why. It's really important to empower you guys to make a decision about your vision correction yourselves. Our job is to work out what's safe for you to have done and what's going to give you the best result and advise you about it. And as part of that, we like to provide lots of information to you. So these assessments take anything from 45 minutes to an hour and they involve quite a few different tests. So let's get started. The first thing you'll be looking at is the health of the eye and what the vision is currently. There's a lot of numbers that are involved here. What do they usually mean? Cool. Well, numbers can measure different things. So one of the numbers are the prescription of the glasses. How strong are the glasses? Are they like negative or positive is whether you're short-sighted or long-sighted. And astigmatism is another number which is part of that. So those numbers um, can be written down in many different ways. Um, but what we write down is basically what your subjective measurements are. The funny thing is the laser actually measures things in much, much more detail than normal subjective measurements. So the, the standard kind of eye test, when we ask you which lens is clearer, one or two, that's not what we're lasering. What we're actually doing is double checking with that method what the laser is telling us. So it's one, another part of the safety check. Okay, so sometimes we see a number over six or over 20. Can you explain that? Yep, so that part of things is to do with how well you can see. That's more like a measurement of how well the eye can see fine detail. So when you see 2020, what it actually means, it's not a score out of 20, it means you can see at 20 feet what you should be able to see at 20 feet away. Mm -hmm. Or six on six if you're a metric country like New Zealand. Mm -hmm. um, some people get slightly better than 2020 vision with their glasses. Some people get slightly worse than 2020 with their glasses. Um, the purpose of the laser eye surgery is to get you to the best possible focus that your eyes are capable of achieving. So if there's an issue with your eye, which means you don't ever get 2020, we can't get you there. But if you get better than 2020 with glasses, yeah, you, that's how well you should see with laser eye surgery. Excellent. So the first portion will be to kind of understand what the eye is seeing currently, mm -hmm. and then we can predict what the eye will be able to see after exactly. the laser vision procedure. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Now you asked about the eye health side of things. Eye health is very important. If the eyes have any sort of sign of eye disease, usually it's not a good idea to be doing any kind of operation until that problem is under control. Sometimes that's as simple as a bit of mild dryness of the eyes, which could easily be treated, or a person's been wearing their contact lenses too long or too much and they've got problems from that, mm -hmm. uh, in which case we'll help you deal with that. Um, sometimes people have other things going on with the back of their eye, and we need to check that out as well. So a fairly comprehensive examination of the eye health is an important part of this. And I know we use a lot of different machines to test us. There's mm. a topography and a tomography. Can you go through those for us? Sure, yeah, we've got all the toys here. Um, <laughs> so one of the things we need to look at is how your cornea is shaped. So the cornea is the clear window on the front of the eye, and that clear window can be thick or thin, it can be evenly curved, or it can be distorted in some sort of way. And the way we detect that is with a device called a corneal tomographer or corneal topography. Mm -hmm. Topography means measuring the surface curvature. We go one step more than that and do corneal tomography where we measure the full thickness of the cornea across the entire range of the cornea. It's kind of like the difference between um, like a surface elevation map and a map that looks at all the caves under the ground as well, just to make sure the hill's not hollow. Um, and this gives us a color-coded representation of the shape of the eye. This, this color coding has a range from blue to white, um, where blue can be very flat and white can be very steep. The cornea should be this pretty much the same curve across, and that will give you a nice sort of green map. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you'll see what looks like a colored bow tie on the map, like a very orangey red okay. vertical yeah. part or horizontal part. That's to do with astigmatism. Um, astigmatism is where the eye has a different shape, say one way compared to the other, like how a football, um, is, a soccer ball, is round but a rugby ball is flat one way and more curved the other. Now that's, the human eye can easily be shaped that way as well and these maps help us to determine that. But the primary thing about the topography or tomography is safety. If your cornea is thin or distorted, there are better options for you than laser eye surgery. Okay, so when we're looking at our topography that's coming in with our little pack that we get, um, we're looking for a lot of green colors because that means it's smooth and round. Yep. If we have a lot of yellows and oranges, it's probably not a great sign. Yep, but it does take a bit of expert interpretation mm -hmm. of those maps. Sometimes the maps can have a lot of green on them, but there might be some irregularities that need to be detected. But this is something we've been doing for you know, more than 20 years. We understand all those subtleties very well. 
So once all those tests are done, then you're left with a few different options. So we provide laser vision correction with Smart Surface or LASIK. What is the difference between the two and how would you advise a patient which one to go for? Cool. So wavefront guided LASIK and wavefront guided Smart Surface are both technologies that provide very precise results. Mm -hmm. The important decision between which one's the best depends a lot upon what a person does with their eyes okay. and a bit about their corneal thickness and corneal shape. People who have generally got low prescriptions and are thinking about police or military as a career or aviation, flying, surface surgery is a very good option for them. Mm -hmm. um, people who have got moderate to high corrections will generally do better with laser vision correction. Um, we also want to look at how quickly the person needs to go back to work. Um, the vast majority of people are suitable for LASIK and prefer LASIK because you know, the eyes are gritty for four or five hours and they can see quite well the very next day. Mm -hmm. So most people have that procedure. Um, but the choice between the two procedures will depend a lot upon you and what you do with your eyes and how quick the recovery needs to be. Nice. So there is a lot of information that patients get when they come to see us about their eyes. They learn about the health, what they're seeing now, what will be possible with the procedure. Um, any last words about people who are considering coming in? I think you'll find the process quite interesting. Um, it's, it's definitely a longer assessment than some clinics do because we like to make sure you have all the information you need to make a decision. It's not just check your glasses, give your brochure and make a decision. We want you to be empowered to make a decision by knowing everything about your eyes that we know about your eyes when we do the assessment. Excellent. Well, thank you, Nick, for joining us today and giving us a lot of insights You're onto welcome. the process. And if you guys have any further questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks. See you later. Bye.